Space is tough and scary. Yes, indeed it is. Recently, NASA has halted all upcoming spacewalks in order to investigate a concerning problem with the spacesuits that are currently aboard the International Space Station. The Space Agency announced that there have been multiple instances in the past few months in which astronauts' helmets have started to fill up with water when they are wearing them. It has placed members of the crew in situations that could put their lives in danger as those who cling to the exterior of the space station, which is located approximately 250 miles above the surface of the Earth. NASA is looking towards the reason that has caused an excessive amount of water to build up inside an astronaut's helmet during a mission that took place in March. The extravehicular mobility units, also known as EMUs, are spacesuits that are still available for use in the case of emergency. But until we understand it better, whatever the factors responsible might be during the last EVA to their EMU, they are really not for nominal extravehicular activity. Therefore, they won't conduct a scheduled EVA until they've had the opportunity to thoroughly address and eliminate major failure modes in the system. Over the course of space exploration, many astronauts had also endured the terrifying experience of having their helmets become filled with water. In 2013, an astronaut with the European Space Agency named Luca Parmitano was forced to have a spacewalk cut short because he came dangerously close to drowning. According to a report released by NASA that provided specifics about the incident, Parmitano was confronted with water covering his eyes, nose and ears. And since, NASA has retrofitted its EMU helmets with miniature sponges that are designed to soak up any excess moisture. Another incident took place when during a spacewalk in March, German astronaut Matthias Mora's helmet became flooded with water. This was not a repeat of the Parmitano incident, which has not occurred since. Caleb Barron, a NASA astronaut, was the one who found the buildup and reported it at the time. There seems to be water in the shut-off valve port at the base of his neck ring that he uses for breathing. The spacesuit that was worn by Mora will be brought back to the Earth on a SpaceX container ship that is scheduled to arrive in July. After that, the investigators will look at the suit to see if they can determine what the problem is. Up until that point, there will be no more spacewalk schedule. The authorities haven't found anything unusual so far, which is a fortunate development, and are searching about any clear signs of contamination, fouling, or anything else that may have made its way into the system. Is it going to be a challenging task for NASA to schedule next spacewalk? Let me know what you think down in the comments below. I am excited to hear your opinions. Please like and subscribe to the channel and thank you so much guys for watching. Want to see more unraveling contents? Do check out our other videos too.